江戸川馬ナビ Hi everybody, I'm Daniel Call. Today we're going to visit an izakaya, which is especially famous for its delicious sliced raw fish, or sashimi. The place we're going to go to today is、uh, known for sort of casting a little bit of magic upon the sashimi itself.、So、the name of the place is Uo Tamo. The izakaya restaurant Uo Tamo is located about a two minute walk from Koiwa Station on the JR Sobu Line. Nearby, you can also visit Kowayaki Leishio, a pottery kiln known for Kowayaki, a kind of pottery produced using clay dug up in Edogawa City. It is the only such kiln in the city. Ah, here it is over here. You can see this really cool sign here. It's like carved and like、uh, painted with lacquer, but it says Uo Tamo. Kind of a cool name. Let's go inside. Check it out. Ah. こんにちは。はい、いらっしゃいませ。どうもセレバヨス。こちらの席どうぞ。いいですか、奥の方へ。はい。いいですね、どこ。Wow. This this is kind of a nice place here. It's you know spacey and you can kind of like kick back and relax and have a you know a nice conversation with your adult friends there. いろんな魚が出てますね。はい、ありがとうございます。刺身が特に。美味しいとお伺いしましたけれども、なんか魔法をかけて美味しくするとかそのような噂を聞いてきたんですけど、魔法かけてるんですか？いや魔法は使えないんですけれども、マ<笑>ラで焼いて美味しくする、えー、お魚を使ったお刺身の盛り合わせもございますので、はい、一つ注文したいですけれども、はい、ありがとうございます。Mr. Kiyonaga opened his izakaya restaurant Uo Tamo after training as a chef for 12 years. He does his best to serve the tastiest sashimi to his customers. But what exactly is the so called magic that he uses? He toasts the surface of the sashimi using a flame of burning rice straw. This method of toasting the fillets of skipjack tuna is traditional in certain parts of western Japan. And here at Uotamo, Mr. Kiyonaga uses this same traditional method on the fillets of certain other kinds of fish as well. It smells so good. <laughs> Rice straw is hollow in the center, so it burns easily. The temperature of the fire quickly rises to 800 degrees Celsius. Quickly toasting the surface of the fish fillets at high heat seals in the flavorful umami. ししたたたたたたたたたたありがとうううううううございいいいいいいいいいいいますすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすになっているのがこっちのこの感じですか、はい。こちらのブリとこちらの水タコでございます、ね。あ、そうですか。はい。ブリは塩がかかっておりますので、まあ、わさびを上に乗せてお召し上がりください。はい、いただきます。うま。お<笑>、まあアメリカ人が好きそうなジャーキーポイントがちょっとだけあるんですね。すあ、今まで食べたカンブリと全然違うんだね。おいしいじゃんじゃんやっぱ香ばしくなりますね本当に香りが全然変わってきますねうん本当に大発見でございます素晴らしいです One word of advice when you go to a restaurant which serves sliced raw fish like this, if you look around the fish, you can also see certain kinds of condiments or garnishes. Each of these has sort of an antibacterial effect. The chefs and the cooks would probably be very happy if you ate them along with your fish. If you have the chance to come here to Uo Tamo, you will notice that Mr. Kiyonaga in the back, he、uh, makes this garnish with a knife. A lot of other restaurants, they'll use a machine because it saves a lot of time, but by doing this by hand, even today, he's、uh, preserving a tradition and it really is a great sign of how devoted he is to his craft. The operating hours for Uo Tamo are shown here. 